In this video, I'm going to share with you some of the techniques I use in order to shoot a Zillow drone video. The Zillow drone video is available only for the real estate marketing package. And the reason that is, is we're already spending the time and effort into getting unlimited photos for Ariel for your listing. And so that's getting the home, the exteriors, the community, and any HOAs that's around the area, uh, such as parks or clubhouses or swimming pools, things of that nature we're trying to get so that way we can sell that house. And while we're up in the air, we're also, with the click of a button, we're able to switch over to video and get the video footage that we need in order to create your, uh, your Zillow drone video. And it really doesn't add much more time in getting that footage in order to create the video. And so that's why we're able to do it. And there's about seven moves that we use in order to, to get the best shot of your listing or the amenities around it. And those are, we have the parallax shot, the slider shot, the push, the pull, the top down, the bottom up, and the pan and tilt. The parallax shot is very unique because it can show how elegant the home is in the area. If it has a very nice, beautiful yard, we're able to show that with a parallax shot. With the slider, it just adds variety, especially when it's close up to the home. We're able to get the slider shot. We, we get this shot, but we rarely use it in the Zillow drone video. It's mostly applicable for home to have uh, a good garden around the house because then there's a lot of foliage around there. There's a lot of variety rather than just like a brick wall or vinyl siding. There's a lot more that meet, than meets the eye. The push shot is exactly what it is. It's just a push zoom in into the home and the pull is the exact opposite. It pulls out from the house so that way you can kind of see, you know, if there's backgrounds or trees uh, or a good scene behind the home, this is able to get that. The top down shot adds more dramatic effect. Sometimes we use this to establish the house from the very beginning. And the bottom up is more for the end of the video where we start level with the house and then we elevate our shot in order to see the whole scene and we're able to put the brand overlay on top of that. So that's more of, of an ending shot. And the pan and tilt shot is more to show of the surrounding of the home. For example, in Lehigh, where it's the silicone slopes, we have a lot of shopping centers, a lot of uh, new startup buildings, a lot of innovation that's going around there. And so the pan and tilt really does showcase kind of the 360 or, or close to a 360 view of where the house sits in a geographical location. So the pan and tilt uh, is rarely used unless it's in those, in those locations where you're trying to sell the location of the home and easy access to highways and shopping centers and the silicone slopes. That's where that shot would come in mostly. For the most part, these are all the shots that we use and what goes into the Zillow drone video production. If you wanna add a Zillow drone video to your next listing, around here there's a link to go ahead and book your next shoot. Go ahead and click on the link, fill out the application, and I'll chat with you soon.